Alright boys, what's that and welcome back to another episode of the Dream Chasers Career Mode. Any OGs of the channel, you'll remember that intro, remember back in the day when that used to be the intro. But anyway, we're back with another episode. If you are not up to date with this series so far, go and check out the playlist on the channel, get yourself up to date, you know the vibes by now. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button before we even watch it. And let's jump straight into today's episode, man. I can't wait to play FIFA today for some reason. I've woke up in a really good mood to, to make this series, so hopefully we can pick up some wins. Uh, first things first. Still a few squad things to go through. I noticed that for the first time um, in our career mode, we have a new highest rated player. Morgan Lee on the left attacker mid spot there has overtaken Morgan Elliott in the center attacker mid spot for overalls. So Lee's up to 77 now. Elliott still at 76. And speaking of ratings, if we jump into the squad hub, something I noticed, we sent a few players out on loan this season. Dominic Talbot, one of them, he is um, he's only gone plus one. Edson Duarte, though, he has gone plus five. And that is great to see. From 56 overall up to 61. That is a massive increase from the lad there. And also, Gabriel Gutierrez, the goalkeeper that we sent out, has gone plus 11. We were looking for a subkeeper. We might have just found him in our youth academy. I can't remember what his potential was, but we signed him. We sent him out on loan. He's gone from 53 to 64 overall in one season. And obviously, well, in fact, that's not even one season. That's like six months. So by the time we get him back at the end of the season, he could be like 70 rated or something. So we've got a, a youth keeper, um, a substitute keeper, I should say, cooking up there. That is very nice to see indeed. Um, and somebody else I want to touch on while we're here, Toby Brown. Theon Greyjoy, one of my favourite players in the squad. He's gone up to 65 overall this season so far, plus four. We're training him as an attacking wide back. You see his pace flying up there. We're getting his passing up, his stamina. You love to see it. This guy is going to be special. And speaking of training up youth players, we signed a few players to the Youth Academy last episode. We have these three English defensive midfielders. All of them are looking quite stinky. Jensen Bullock might get a run in the team. We might not. I don't know. Um, as of right now, I might get rid of him. I might not. Um, but what, someone I did want to keep an eye on is Yuto Hashimoto. What a player. This guy looks like 76 to 94 potential. And his stats just look great, bro. This guy looks absolutely incredible. Um, we also checked out um, Hitoshi Ono last episode. He's got great potential. I thought this could have been the striker. Of course, we've sent our scout to Japan to try and uh, emulate the blue lock from the anime. Blue lock to try and find ourselves a striker in the youth academy from Japan. We got Hitoshi Ono back centre forward and I thought this guy might be the striker because he had high potential and he's only 15. But 50 overall, I was like, he's only 15 though. That could, we'll give him a chance to grow. Then I saw he's got 45 shooting. And if we try and change his position to a striker, um, it's going to take 38 weeks. So this guy is definitely not the striker that we're looking for. Um, which is a shame to see but um, with that being said let's move on anyway um, I did ask in the comments we are, we are in the January transfer window by the way I didn't mention that um, and I have been asking in the comments for um, a fullback obviously we've got the left wing back spot nailed down we've got Toby Brown aka Theon Greyjoy and we've also got James Milner as backup in that spot and before you laugh James Milner is quality check out the last few episodes player of the episode last episode arguably as well and um, what a player so jumping into the shortlist the first comments we did have was for Flavio Nadzinho. He is a left wing back. I'd probably train him as a right wing back if we wanted to. He is unwilling to relocate at this time, but we're scouting him up fair that we've got. Well, we've got him fully scouted actually. 20 years old, not that much money. Could be a great sign and coming into season two. Um, oh, well, season three, I should say, once we get to the championship. This looks like a great player. If he stays that value, in fact, 2.9 mil for 70 overall 20 year old wing back is great value for money. I might just pick him up anyway next season. Next comment said sign Rico Lewis from Manchester City so Rico Lewis we are going to scout up we don't know much about him um, unwilling to relocate yet again like a freak everyone is just so unwilling to relocate but we've added him to the shortlist appreciate the comment there um, the next player was Juan Jose Mina which we've got on the scout list as well 19 year old I love the fact that he's actually listened to me when I said um, I want a youth player that we can train up and, and have them going forward like in the future in the Premier League get them trained up and I appreciate everyone's comments helping me out with that showing youth players with high potential and stuff like that so I really appreciate everyone's support and interactions in this series so far keep it up and I'll keep making the series for you because it really does keep me motivated to keep going when I see all these comments get left same guy um, shout out he, he always leaves comments um, we've got, also got Nico Williams in there big fan of Nico Williams being a Liverpool fan myself in real life um, so I'm obviously familiar with this guy did not know he was six foot though 
I thought Nico Williams was like 5'8 or something like that, bro. I did not know Nico Williams was 6'4. Anyway, um, he is quite expensive. Probably a championship sign. And if we do want to get Nico Williams in, um, I probably will just turn this team into Liverpool youth because next season I want to sign Curtis Jones. Obviously, we've got we've got to get Curtis Jones in there, boys. The amount of times I say, hello, Reds, what a win that was then. We've got to get Curtis Jones in there. Um, and Harvey Elliott, of course, my one of my favourite players in the Liverpool squad. Um, I really want to get Harvey Elliott into the team. So if we get Elliott, we'll... Williams, Jones, it's just going to be Liverpool's youth. Shout out to Sam as well. He left a comment saying uh, Malo Gusto as a fullback. He plays for Bayern Munich, so I'm guessing they're going to ask for like 200 million to get him off. I hate that Bayern Munich kit, by the way. That kit is disgusting. Anyway, um, yeah, we've added him to the shortlist. Um, he looks French. I was about to say he looks, I don't know why that, that came to me. I was like, he looks French and then he is French. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's move on. I added a few players myself. We've got Tariq Lamptey in there. I absolutely love Tariq Lamptey in real life. What a player he is. Um, and for the left back spot as well, we also added in Tariq Mitchell. Great player. It looks like he's might be moving to to thingy there. What are they called? Latium. Um, yeah, EA lost lost the rights to Lazio, so they're called Latium in this game. We had the Tariq Mitchell. Um, we have added a few centre backs as well. I need a few backups in that centre back spot, um, and we found Carrillo, Cabrera, and Benitez in the free agents. By the way, this Carrillo, this guy's stats. Look at these stats for a sixteen year old. It's like, bro, this guy. Once we get the scout report back could be unbelievable bro he's 5'10 as a centre back that's not great but he's from Argentina and you know 5'10 centre backs from Argentina normally have that dog in them shout out Lissandro Martinez um, is it Lissandro I don't even know the one that plays for United he's got that dog in him so maybe Carrillo could be that guy for us he's got a haircut that says you know I mean business bro do you know what I mean if you see a centre back with that haircut just know that they're good we've got Mark Gahey in there as well on the shortlist we'll probably sign him in the championship or the prem I really like Mark Gahey in real life so that's just another player I want to bring into the club. Um, but I think that's it for the transfers. Um, we've got, obviously, loads of strikers and stuff there, but we don't need them. Uh, we don't need attackers. We just need defenders. Speaking of defenders, our defence are knackered. First game of the episode is against Port Vale in the Papa John's Trophy. Um, let's check the standings for this club, actually. In fact... It's not even in the... I thought we was in the group stage still, but it's not. We're in round three, so you need to play this game. I was going to sim it. Um, but, yeah, you can see our defense knackered there. The cup squad, which we would use for this game, is knackered. So we're going to rotate, use the league squad. But we still need to rotate anyway because people are knackered. Oh, sorry, one more comment. Caleb said, send youth scouts to Brazil as there are talented youngsters there. Absolutely, that is a great idea. But right now, we do not have any money um, to send a youth scout to Brazil. We've got just about enough money to get a right wing back in, which I will... Um, hopefully do before the end of this transfer window and we will send a scout uh, well we'll get a third scout next season basically because we've got two at the minute one in england one in uh, japan and then for the next season we will have three scouts ongoing one of them could go to brazil that's a very good place to search for youth players and one final comment, actually, um, in terms of transfers. Somebody mentioned Rio Adebisi. Um, the big fan of this guy. We've mentioned him before on the series because of, obviously, the Crew Alexandra link that I have, being a Crew Alexandra manager for three or four years um, on Football Manager. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a big fan of that guy. We'll scout him up, see what his potential and overall are, are saying um, in career mode. But anyway, now we can get to the game. It's in the cup, of course, so we are going to play it. Toby Brown at left back, looking tired. Even our backup, Davies, is looking tired too we're gonna to play Davies though for this game and Bamba looking tired but Nicholas is even more tired so when Bamba gets to run him yeah we really need to pick up a center back bro because yeah these center backs are tired uh, but with that being said let's jump into the game I'm wondering should we put another attacker on the bench just in case we need them nah we've got our main squad let's go and let's just go and win let's just go and win this game we simply have to focus on this man three goals in three games a nightmare for opposing defenders this is EA TV. That's a nice stat, but I'm pretty sure it was a hat-trick, wasn't it? So it's technically three goals in one game. But anyway, um, you can see him on the TFO as well. The fans at Heavens Arena absolutely love... Um, what's his name? Cole Palmer. Obviously, the manager doesn't love him if he's forgot his name already. Anyway, let's jump into the game. His field, we spot a run from Lee over the top inside. Morgan Lee has stepped up this season big time at the back post. It's a great ball. Oh, Morgan Elliott just misses the header. Win that nailer well in. Cole Palmer, he's got one inside. That was not a shot. I don't know why he's hit it like that. 
Uh, and Bamba, by the way, I wanted to bring up at the back here. He's just missed a tackle um, and he's won it back anyway. Yeah, this guy has got 87 sprint speed. I was looking at his stats before, um, but then I've just realized we only got him on loan in Bamba, so we won't have him for next season. We'll have to sign him again if we do want him. And then, of course, Cole Palmer is going to cost us 3 mil. We got Cole Palmer on that loan to buy deal, which is still the greatest deal of all time, I think, in career mode. Cole Palmer on a loan to buy, and it's only 3 million. Like, this guy is quality, bro. We're going to stick with him all the way into the Prem if we can keep hold of him in the Championship. So, to get him for just £3 million next season is going to be unreal. Oh, I've pulled Mbamba way out of position there. Yeah, my fault. Good goal, Paul Vale. That was my fault. Can't even blame Mbamba. I've just sneezed everywhere as well, lads. So, I keep rubbing my nose and taking one hand off the controller. But that is my bad. Let me focus up, get ourselves back into the game. Is Cook out wide field. Cook, one of the lowest rated players in our starting 11, but he's so good. Here's Elliot on the edge. Big save from the keeper. Yeah, Cook is only um, 66 rated. Like, even like Matador and all those people on the bench are better rated than Cook, but he's just so good for us. We have to keep him in. I thought we'd scored them. Um, yeah, he, Cook is just so good in that DM role. We have to keep him. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Here's Lee, linking up with Elliot. Nice play, through to Field, what a turn, go on Field, get the shot off! Yes, come on boys! I don't know how Field's got that shot off, but that is great play, I just had to force the ball forward, because you see the time in the top left, and for once, we capitalise on other time. Have that referee, great pass from um, Lee there, great ball from Elliot, I don't know how Field got that shot off, but that is unbelievable striking. That is a dog up front. I don't know. How did, how did he get that shot off, bro? He got kicked in the chest as well by their defender. Still got the shot off and scored the goal. Reggie Field, you break shit house. Come on, boys. Here's Elliot. Through ball to Field again. Field one-on-one. -on -one. Go on, son. Hit that. Oh, come on. Reggie Field. Talk about having that dog inside you, bro. What a player. There's a reason he's got that number nine on his back. That guy is so good. I think he's left footed. He must be because his left foot is unreal, bro. Better than mine. And that's pushing it. Field. I've seen a through ball to Cole Palmer. That's a ridiculous pass. <laughs> Poor accuracy, but it's got it through still. And here's Vaughan. Early cross. Morgan Lee. Oh, what play that would have been. Go on, Cook. Win that, son. Yes. Cook into Naylor. Big save on the rebound. Lee. Almost got it. I am having so much fun today on FIFA, I swear, Dan. How often do you say that? That you're having fun on FIFA? Over the top. Lovely ball through. Morgan Lee. Oh, oh he's got it still. And it's field. He's on for a hat-trick. Big block. What a challenge. Go on, son. Oh, look at that tackle from Naylor. You'd love to see it. Go on, Cook. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Max Naylor for player of the episode. Or maybe not. Maybe not then. <laughs> yeah, let me know player of the episode. It's got to be field so far. Two goals. What a player. But we've still got way more games to come. So stay tuned and let me know at the end of the episode who your player of the episode is. Is Elliot linking up with Naylor. It's nice play. A little overlap. And oh, I forgot to press shoot. Go on, Naylor. Yes, Max Naylor. Lee, I don't know why he didn't shoot there. Well, I literally forgot to press B. I just ran straight at the keeper. But um, yeah, boys, we went 1-0 down. I was like, oh, no, this could be a tough game. But we're absolutely smashing um, these here. Oh, my God. Reggie Field has picked up an injury. Okay, he's okay. He's ran it off because he's a brick shit house. <laughs> yes, let's go, Reggie Field. Gonna make some subs, save some fitness while we're up um, so much. Uh, we got we don't have many people on the bench to actually make subs, so we're gonna bring on Bailey on left wing. Um, Rabage is gonna come in for you know what? Let's do it for Palmer. Um, and Matsuda can come in for Elliot, I guess. Really good move for everybody. This could be dangerous. Big block or big pressure, I should say, from Tommy Bailey. Linking up with Field. What a finish. Tommy Bailey. Have that. Get in, boys. What a win that is. We're through to the next round in the cup. The fans absolutely loving it. What a performance from everyone involved. Their keeper thinks he's playing for us. Why is he wearing purple? Wants to be on the Dream Chasers. I don't blame him. Who doesn't want to play for the Dream Chasers? Well in, boys. What a win. Got a new scout report through from England. Um, yes, it is the guy from England. Let's see if he's brought us anyone back or any stinkers. Um, a few stinkers. Jaden Barry, decent value there. Might be a good play. We'll sign him to the academy just for the sake of it. Everyone else looking quite stinky at the moment. Dylan Hewton, yeah, stink. Stinker. 
Next game is against Portsmouth in the league. Going to play this one with our sub um, or our second string team, I should say. A few subs and rotations here, though, as well. Canal is very tired. We've got no sub back up uh, centre backs, though. We're going to play Davies. I mean, we're going to play Milner at right wing back. Um, and can we play Vaughan at centre back? Yes, we can for Canales. Captaincy goes to James Milner because, you know, he's James Milner. You get me? So, anyway, let's get into this game against Portsmouth. Oh my god, that's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where does that come from, bro? Where the hell is that space just come from? Great finish from the lad, great ball, but let me let me see that replay. How does he just how? And Bamba marking him steps off. Where's Vaughan? That's terrible positioning from Vaughan. I don't know why I put Vaughan in the middle centre back. Actually, that's a bad move from me. I'm gonna play Vaughan on the left centre back and uh, let Nicholas take the middle because, yeah, why would we ever put that guy in middle centre back? I don't know. But anyway, that was crazy. Come on, let's get back into the game. Lovely pass, Matter there. Theon Greyjoy capitalised on the mistake. He's by himself. It's Greyjoy. It's Greyjoy. Oh, off the bar, go on, Ricky Jade. Oh, no way, boys. Great strength, Rabage. Oh, what a player. What a player. It's out to Milner. Milner inside, Matada. Matada, great turn. Give us that option, Bailey. Or someone. Matada, inside. It's Tommy Bailey across the goal. It's an own goal. We'll take it. We're back in it. But it's a scrappy one, but we're back in the game. We'll take that. Well timed tackle. Curtis Warren playing through Ricky J. Jones. Great first touch. Ricky J to take the lead and he's done it. Let's go, boys. Too easy. Don't give us a chance. We'll just... Like, we go 1-0 down every game, but let me just bring it back to 2-0. Well, well 2-1 in an instant. Oh, that's poor. Keeper. 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 Come on, bro. Why has he not came out? Why is he not... Why, bro, how slow is this goalkeeper, man? Oh, never mind. We've lost the lead again. That was just poor for me. I don't know what I was doing at the back then. And the keeper, I don't know why he's not came out and I told him to. Here's Theon. Lovely ball in. Ricky Jade in the middle. It's not a great ball. Warren, big head. Rabiger on the volley. Rabiger, big save. Oh, what a turn, Rabiger. Stop that. That is naughty. Got the ball through to Tommy Bailey. Bailey, we need some support. We need some options. Over the top. A lovely ball through. Curtis Warren, great first touch. Great run from Ricky Jay to pull the defender. And Curtis Warren's put it wide. No way. Lad, that was sick play as well. Have we got anyone on the bench to make an impact here? Because, yo, we should have scored there. We really should have scored there. Um, I don't even know who to bring on here, bro. I'm going to leave it for now, actually. We're playing well. But that was crazy. That was great play from everyone there. Oh, that was dangerous play, King. It's all on you. King! No! What have you done, lad? Go on. Get it out. Oh, my God. King, what are you doing, bro? Hey. Oh, what a touch, Theon. Lad, what is going on there, bro? Theon over the top to Tommy Bailey. It's a bad pass. Bailey, though. He's quality. Theon whipped that in. What a pass. Yes! Yes! Come on, boys. No way. Ricky J. Jones, 90th minute winner. Lad, what an ending to the game. What an ending to the game. That was crazy, bro. Hey, there's a pitch invasion. The fans are going mad. Yo, what an ending to the game. I can't believe that cash money mark was in the celebrations there. And I don't blame him. Tommy Bailey. What a pass from Theon. And then, oh, lad, I thought I started celebrating before I'd scored. And then the keeper saved it. But then it went in still. Yo, what an ending to the game. That was straight at the keeper. What's he done there? That's poor, that. But, oh, mate, what a win. What a win that was. No way. Ricky J. Jones, that what a player. On with the game then. 3 2. What will happen next? Oh, we still got time for one more. Go on, Warren. It's over the top. Ricky Jade, he wants one more. He wants one more. And he's got one more. It's Ricky J. Jones. What a player. Oh, boys. What a game that was. Next game's against Leighton Orient. They stink. Everyone's up to full fitness. Let's just sim this game. Try and get through the season. Um, we're still waiting for some scout reports to come back before we can go ahead and sign a right back. We might get that done this episode. We might not. 87th minute equaliser for Leighton Orient there. We had Cook and Naylor, our two DMs on the score sheet. Canales with a red card as well. Not what we like to see. We've got a loan offer for Davies. It's a loan to buy deal, actually. Why would we ever accept that? Davies, I mean, he's not great, but... 
is a utility player, can play left back, right back, centre back if we need him. He's only 26, probably won't go any higher in overall, but he's there if we need him, if someone gets injured or whatever, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to reject that, keep Davies at the club for as long as we can. With Canales out on a red card, we're going to have to play in Bamba there um, in centre back, but he can do the job. We've got scouting reports back on the three free agent centre-backs that I did um, send the scout to search for. The first one is Gaston Benitez. The guy's got decent pace, okay defensive stats, but he's only 64 overall at 21. When we've got a 66 overall at 18 in Fabrizio Cabrera. Now this guy could definitely be special, but also we've got German Carrillo, who is two years younger, 64 overall. And this guy I definitely want to bring into the club. You know what? I might go ahead and sign both of them. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and sign both of them, bro. We need backup in that centre-back role anyway. So why not go ahead and sign these two youth players? One of them is already probably like worthy of start. And that 66 rated player, he can definitely probably get a start in our squad. Um, and then the 64 guy at only 16, yeah, he'll definitely fly up in rating. Let's go ahead and sign them. Jamin Carrillo is the first guy. He wants to be a rotation player. That's perfect for what we want to offer him. Five-year contract. Absolutely love to see it. He wants to play for the Dream Chasers. No release clause. This guy is perfect. He wants 350 quid a week and you can have it, mate. He knows what he wants. He's got what he wants welcome to the club German Carrillo yes <laughs> boys I told you a man with that haircut he means business he's coming he's smaller than our woman at the front desk I told you he's he's only 5'10 I say only I'm 5'10 <laughs> he's only 5'10 uh, oh are we gonna get to see Elliot in his undies again please don't we don't need to see that we don't need to see Elliot and Nicholas in their undies oh I'll get in we've skipped that part but there's um Carrillo welcome to the team mate you brick shit house Going to go ahead and sign um, Cabrera as well. He can also play left back, so that's good to see. I'm going to remove Benitez, though, from the shortlist. Um, but, yeah, we've got some um, back up here with Cabrera. Can also play left back. Lovely to see. Let's approach the sign. Even if this guy's not good, we can just sell him on for a mil. It says his value is 1.3 mil. He also wants to be a rotation. We'll accept that. Does he know what he wants? He does. Five years. Look at this. I love players that know what they want. No release clause. He knows his wages. I'll accept that. Cash Money Mark was looking at his agents. A bit funny there. I think, I think Mark's feeling butterflies there, bro. I don't know what was going on there. I can't even tell if that is a man or a woman. I think it's a woman or a man with long hair. I don't know, but Cash Money Mark seems to be uh, fascinated by that woman there. Anyway, welcome to the team. I forgot your name. <laughs> is he taller than our woman at the front desk? He's probably about the same height. I didn't check this guy's height. Is he 5'10 as well? Have we just signed two 5'10 centre-backs? That's a stinker. What are we, midget land? We can't be having that. I love the way Mark like shakes the hand and just gets off. He's like, oh yeah, welcome to the club, lad. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. I'm busy. Cash money, Mark. He's always got money on his mind. Do you know what I mean? He's always trying to he's always trying to get that money in. And I'm glad we didn't see Elliot in his undies again. Lovely to see. That kit is fire, by the way. I don't care if it looks like on the chest. It looks like fucking Tony Stark's nano suit. It looks sick. Anyway, that covers the centre-back um, position. We just need to wait for those scouting reports on our right-backs. Um, Cabrera. Let's move him up the bench a bit more. And Carrillo as well. Um, let's bring Carrillo onto the bench as well. And that means now for the club squad as well, we can actually have proper rotation of our centre-backs. And we're not playing the three centre-backs that we actually need to stay fifth. And um, we can rotate these guys very nicely now. Carrillo is going to come in. Middle centre-back, do we want him? How tall is Mbamba? 6'2". We'll put it, in fact, at six. He's got the pace, though. Whoever's slowest can go in the middle. Nicholas can drop to the bench for Cabrera, too. Tariq Mitchell's been approached by Barcelona for 19.8 million. Uh, we need to act quickly if we want to sign Tariq Mitchell. We definitely don't have 19.8 million to compete with Barcelona, but the fact that Barcelona is interested in a player that I want just shows that I know ball. So, um, we've got a, a message off the board saying they're concerned about something. I don't know what you're concerned about, bro. They wanted us to reach round of 16 in the FA Cup. We're in League One. But yeah, I'll chill out. It's been a minute since we've had a game. We've advanced literally like two weeks here. And we finally got a game. And look at all of these scout reports that we've got back. This is for all of the right wing backs. Um, so let's go ahead and check out um, what we're dealing with here. So Tariq Lamptey is 79 overall. 20 mil. Definitely can't sign him. Malo Gusto is 22 mil. Definitely can't sign him. Mina. We could go ahead and sign him, possibly. We've only got 3.6 mil. If they ask for 3.8, we won't be able to get him. Um, Lewis says that he's unwilling to relocate. But Mina doesn't say that, so we could go for Mina. Nico Williams out of our price range. So Chamadu still there, but a bit low overall. Um, Mark Gay, he's 26 mil. Definitely can't sign him right now. Rio out of BC, the team won't sell him because he's too important for the club. Okay, I understand, I guess. Like, 
and Tariq Mitchell has gone to um, Barcelona. Wow, so that's a huge transfer. Um, and if we do want Mitchell, it's going to be a big, big money transfer if we do want him. Um, Nadzinho, unwilling to relocate at this time. So it's looking like we've only got one option, really, for this transfer. And it's looking like our only option is Juan Jose Mina. Let's check out his stat. He's got good spin speed, good uh, stamina as well. That's what we like to see. Nice pace. Um, obviously, I wanted a, a pacey player. Good athleticism there. Um, decent enough defending. This could be the right fit for this right wing back spot that I'm after. Um, let's go ahead and try and sign him. Obviously, if they ask for too much, we won't be able to. We could part X someone, actually. Um, let's let's see who we've got to, to give them. Do we offer Daniel Vaughan? That'll bring the, the offer right down, but he is our starting right back at the minute. I mean, we could just replace our starting right back, but Vaughan, I mean, he's 31. I don't know. I get too attached to players on career mode. You know, I don't know if you use it like this. Let me know in the comments. Do you just get attached to players on career mode? Like, Vaughan's been with us from the start. He's had a good season so far, but he's 31. We won't get much value out of him um, going forward in the career mode now. Should we just use him here to bring the price down and get a replacement in? That's what we should do. So I'm going to do it, but I really don't want to. Like, I'm, I'm too attached to the player. Um, we're going to offer Daniel Vaughan plus 1.5 mil. Just try and be cheeky and see if that's okay. They don't want the player, but they, they want 2.3 mil and a 10% selling clause. That is below his market value. I don't know what their manager's smoking. Maybe he's gone a bit senile. I mean, look at him. I mean, I don't even know if he knows what he's doing. It looks like Batman's um, butler, bro. Shout out to that actor because he's been in loads of stuff. But what's his name? I can't even remember his name, bro. He looks like Batman's butler, though, from the Bale films. But anyway, 2.3 mil. That's a bargain if you ask me. Shout out to the guy who said to, to sign Mina because we're going to go ahead and sign him right now once we do his contract. Let's see. Is he a player that knows what he wants? Is he a player that knows what he wants? We're going to go important first team player because he will be playing first team football. You look surprised by that. Five year contract because we want you to stay forever. And that's what he wants. No release clause. Tell us your wage. He doesn't know what he wants. I hate indecisive people like that. He's on four grand at the minute. Let's give him five. Let's be generous. Let's be generous. Is five grand okay? He's happy with that. Welcome to the team. Yeri Mina. Oh, it's not even Yeri. I don't know your first name. You're going to be Yeri Mina for now. Um, welcome to the team, mate. Yes. Oh, there's Lee in his undies. He's replaced Elliot. Why does everyone come out in their undies, bro? Oh, here we go. Here's Elliot in his undies again. Like, bro, I mean, asking you shall receive. We signed two players. Um, so I thought we got away with it, but we ended up saying, yeah, those clothes are horrendous. Those clothes are horrendous. But anyway, welcome to the team, Mina. Daniel Vaughan, it's a sad time. But in fact, no, we didn't even transfer him, did we? <laughs> Vaughan's still here. I don't know why I'm like saying RIP to him and that. Excellent deal. Fantastic job. Um, yeah, love to see it. In the squad hub as well, he's showing great potential, which is always great to see. Um, and let's go ahead and train him as... What should we train him as? I don't even know. Attack and wide back. Yeah, attack and wide back is what I want to throw him on. Get his stamina up, his passing as well. Um, decent dribbling and pace boost as well, even though he's already got loads of pace. I don't even know if we should do that, but oh well. Next game is against Lincoln. We're going to end the episode with this one. Um, and we are going to sim it. So let's go ahead and hopefully win this game. Everyone told me that if you sim it, you lose most of the games. But we've gone ahead and won it. Elliot's missed a penalty. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I took him off penalties for Reggie Field. Lee scored, Elliot missed a pen, Field scored, and then Elliot scored in the 85th to win the game, so shout out to Elliot. But what are you doing missing pens, Elliot? We took him off them, didn't we? Am I tripping, or did we take Elliot off pens last episode? Yeah, look at that, penalties, Field. Elliot must have done an Mbappe and just took the ball off Field or something, bro. That's crazy to see. All right, boys, we're at transfer deadline day. I don't think we've got any money left in the bank. We can double check, though. Budget, yeah, we've got 1.2 mil and 55k in the wage budget. I don't think there's anywhere else I need to sign. We've strengthened the centre-back role. We've strengthened the right-back um, position. So let's just advance through the um, the end of the deadline day. I appreciate everyone's comments who, who left transfer targets and things like that. So, yeah, shout-out to everyone who did leave a comment. Um, I, I really do appreciate it, and it helps out uh, the squad. So, um, we can't wait to see, what's his name, Mina? We're going to give Mina a go in the start 11 for the next game. So he's going to slot in there instead of Daniel Vaughan. Um, and you know what? I didn't want to get rid of him. But while we're here, we're going to add Daniel Vaughan to the transfer list. I know it's too late now, but hopefully by the end of the season, somebody will come in and buy him. Just before his overall starts decreasing and we lose value on him. He's gone plus one this season. Like I say, he's had a great season. But 31 years old, he will start losing value very soon. So we're adding him to the transfer list. It's a sad day. But uh, who knows? Maybe someone will come in before the end of the transfer window. Let's advance though. That's the end of deadline day then, boys, and let's advance. We have got a message off Vaughan. I know you have your reasons for transfer list to me, boss, but I'll, I have to tell you, I've really enjoyed my time here. I'll be so bro, don't make me cry, Daniel Vaughan. Don't make me cry, bro. Why is he tugging on the heartstrings there, bro? It's just business. 
I appreciate the respect. I've got bigger gaps in the team that I'm looking to recruit for. The money we get for you, give me the budget to strengthen in other positions. Facts. Nothing personal, I promise. Daniel, yo, that's actually sad, bro. He doesn't want to leave. And I don't blame him. But anyway, we've got a scouting update from our youth academy. Let's see what everyone's up to. Um, so, Jensen Bullock, 82 to 88 potential. He's actually developing into a decent enough player. Um, Liam Allen, not looking great, though. Felix Ball, not looking... Oh, Felix Ball's okay, I guess. Frankie Stanley, not great either. Hashimoto, though, 85 to 94 potential. Yo, we need to... He's 18 as well. We need to get this guy into the starting 11, or, well, just into the squad. I don't know where we play him, though. Where do we play this guy? He can play centre mid, but his defence and physical stats are not great. He definitely looks more like a cam. Not great shooting, good dribble and passing and pace, though. But where does he play? Where does he slot in? We have so many players now. But we might have to scrap the five-back formation and go four-back so we've got more midfielders in there. I don't know. We've got Oda as well. Shout out the, the writer of One Piece. <laughs> it's crazy because we've got two of the goats of the manga world in our youth academy right now. We've got Oda and we've got a uh, Junji Ito as well. So, yeah, Ito's not developed as much as I'd hoped he had or was going to. Ono as well looking quite stagnant there. Um, and Jaden Barry. We've signed to the Youth Academy. He's got great physical stats and pace, but he's a striker. I was looking for a youth striker, and we found one in the form of Jaden Barry. He does have one star weak foot, though, so we will need to train that. Let's train him as a complete striker to get that up. Um, but yeah, I was hoping the, the striker would come from the Youth Academy in Japan, but maybe... Well, he's 5 for 5! Christ. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah. Hashimoto looking to make an appearance next episode. Stay tuned if you want to see that um, and let me know where we should play and what formation we should play him in. The first game of the next episode is going to be against MK Dons. We've actually got a scouting report back from Japan. Have we got another striker in here possibly? Let's find out. The answer is no. That was one of the worst scouting reports I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, next game is against MK Dons. We will start the next episode with that. We're going to sign Hashimoto to the team. Where does he even fit in? I do not know. But like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch us next time, people. Take it easy.